Hello students, the other day we were calculating the life path soul number and today we're going to calculate the soul number and the life lesson number that we calculated they had to do with career and basically uh, what uh, lessons are you here to learn in this lifetime and you saw how at the end uh, you're going to be using the number that is uh, the most simplified of the two. Now the soul number comes from adding the vowels in your name so always we work with your full name at birth. Prefixes and suffixes such as Mr. or Mrs. Junior, Senior, um, Second, Third, Esquire are not considered part of the cosmic name. Uh, those are titles right so we uh, we're not given those at birth and they are not figured in the total name. We place the number value of the vowels above the letter in your name. And by vowels, are we're talking about the letters A, E, I, O, and U. The letter Y, um, and this if, if you do Kabbalist, uh, Kabbalistic approach and you're using the, um, the Jewish alphabet, for example, um, might sound more like an E, as in the name Mary, uh, the letter Y, it is not um, a vowel in the name May, for example. So we have to be careful with some letters such as W and Y, um, or, um, you know, for example, with uh, in names such as Sybil, in which Y is also the vowel when it's the only vowel in the syllable, um, or W, um, is about when it follows D or G, such as, such as in the names Dwight or Wendelin, because it carries the vowel sound. And this might be more difficult to understand in the English alphabet, um, and so that's why sometimes I, I almost rather to do uh, the Jewish um, uh, Kabbalah alphabet, because uh, once you get used to it, even though it's more difficult to learn at the beginning, um, there are four to five different sounds uh, for names such as those, um, it becomes easier over time. We're going to still be using the name that we used the other day, although you can follow in the blackboard with your own name. And the name the other day, as you know, was Ada Winland, uh, which was born uh, November 12th uh, of 1940. And I have taken the uh, that name from um, for an, uh, a source, a book, uh, is, is really inconsequential, um, you know, what name we're using for the exercise, since we're only, uh, teaching you how to do, in this case, the soul number. All right, so I'm kind of erasing everything here, so we can begin again. And we will use our, our example, Ada Wayne Lund, born November 12, 1940. And to arrive to Ada's or Ada's soul number, we add the vowels in her name only. So we're only going to add this ones over here. In this case, the, the Y is considered vowel, even though because of the sound and the U. So... Uh, the way in when is considered vowel because it's the only vowel in the name because we go by sound. Remember that vibration is sound. Um, so we're not um, talking about what is written as a symbol, but what we are hearing as a vibration. I hope that makes sense. So the um, A, of course, remember is one. And this is one, that's another. And then the Y in this case is seven. And U, the letter U is three. So when we add all this, we get 12. And one plus two is three. So the 12 is reduced by adding the first digit to the second or 1 plus 2 equals 3. And then the number 12 is then written like this. So you can do this by, you can do this for yourself, 
discovering your soul number by following the same procedure. And in our example, Ada or Ada has a soul number of 12-3. And she will read um, under number 3. That will be her basic soul number. So the basic soul number, remember, is the, the final one, right? This is not it. We don't pick 12, but just 3. That's the reduction number. That's her soul number. So her life path number or lifetime was 1. Her soul number was three. So we're starting to know a little bit about Ada. And the soul number is your real personality. Is your real self. The one that it is known only to you and not to other people. And this number embraces the philosophy of reincarnation. Um, because it indicates what you had been in previous lifetimes. The soul number is what you and your inner secret self desire to be. So this urge may not be so strong that it can overcome all the vibrations of your four basic numbers, since the soul number reveals something of accumulated growth in past lives. It becomes an underlying force which influences the reactions of your pre present life. Remember that if you believe, and like I always said in numerology, keep an open mind if you believe in past lives, this number, um, if you um, will, will be, as we call it, the soul will urge you to remain repressed by or impressed by the inside or outside circumstances. So if you believe in reincarnation, this number is helping you to grow. And if you have failed to accomplish the purpose for this lifetime, then you might need to repeat the same vibrational urge in a future life, which means that the number three, if you fail to, um, to do your lessons or growth or whatever it is, however you want to call it in this life, you will have another uh, vibration with the number three the next time around until you find your uh, true expression. So let's look at number three. Let's say that you got number three of your vibration. What did Ada Lynn uh, got? So three, um, she's very conscientious in regard to duty. And um, she uh, like to expand on activities and seek happiness and make others happy. If, if this person is depressed, uh, it's the kind of person that will bring you hope and courage. And uh, it will expand uh, her ideals by dedicating herself to an expression of good cheer and optimism. And, um, um, she's not an impractical person and love is very important to people that have vibration with the number three. And they're very giving and receiving. They're very well adjusted and they work to make other people happy. So that's... Um, the artist's uh, soul number of Ada, the number three. In the next lesson, we're going to cover the outer personality number, which is now that you have discovered the real you through your soul number, then let's, let us determine how other people see you. And normally this is done with the outer personality number that indicates how you appear to others. I'll see you in the next video.